Hey guys, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Today, let's discuss a medical case. We have a patient with fever, itching, and a neck mass. Let's get started. But before we get started, let me remind you that I have a playlist on my channel named Medicosis Vignettes. You'll find lots of medical cases in it. Now, let's get started. Today we not only have one question but 10 questions. After I read every one of them, please pause the video and try to answer and let me know below in the comment section how many questions did you answer correctly. Don't cheat. 22 year old Caucasian male comes in complaining of fever, night sweat and let's add some itching and a mass in the right side of his neck. On physical exam, you find painless and large cervical lymph nodes. You send some labs. Hemoglobin, 9.2. MCV, 90. Hematocrit, 30. Serum LDH was off the charts. Lymphocytes of 520 per microliter. Question, what's the next step? Call the legal guardian, start chemotherapy, order iron studies, radiation to the lymph nodes, or percutaneous core needle biopsy. Now, pause the video. Okay, call the guardian, nope. Start chemotherapy before diagnosing, nope. Order iron studies, not radiate the lymph nodes. We should diagnose it first. So the correct answer is percutaneous core needle biopsy. And by the way, this is different from fine needle aspiration. There are two types of biopsies that are done using a needle. First one is the core needle biopsy, and the second one is the fine needle aspiration. These are different. We continue with the same patient. So the pathologist reported seeing these cells under the microscope while examining the lymph node biopsy, and also reported that it was rubbery in consistency. I've told you before that experienced pathologists use consistency to comment on the section. So, what's the most likely diagnosis? Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, Burkitt's lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, or infectious mononucleosis? The third question, what should you do next? Send the patient home, Watch and wait, start chemo immediately, or CT scan. Pause. So, the second question, what's the most likely diagnosis? You have these all eye appearing cells. They have two nuclei, and each nucleus has a nucleolus that is eosinophilic. Also, we have a rubbery lymph node. So, the diagnosis here is C. Hodgkin's lymphoma. What should you do next? Send the patient home. This is an idiot. Watch and wait observation. That's an idiot on steroids. Start chemo immediately. That's a doctor who is studying using Kaplan. Oh, sorry. This is a joke. How can you use chemo before staging? So the answer is D. CT scan of the neck, chest, abdomen, and pelvis for purpose of staging because staging determines treatment. Fourth question, which of the following subtypes of that disease has the best prognosis? Nodular sclerosing, lymphocyte depleted, or mixed cellularity? Pause. And the answer is, of course, nodular sclerosing has the best prognosis. And I've told you that nodular sclerosis is commoner in females. Remember, roses flowers for female. Then you order CT scan for staging and a PET scan. You find the disease involving cervical lymph nodes, anterior mediastinal lymph nodes that are bulky, as well as plenomegaly. Using the Ann Arbor classification, which stage is this disease? 1, stage 2, 
stage 3a, stage 3b, or stage 4. Then, suppose that the disease involved the liver and the bone marrow. Just suppose. Which stage is the disease? Now, pause. So, the answer here is, we have a patient with lymph nodes that are more than one, cervical, anterior mediastinal, splenomegaly, and they are on both sides of the diaphragm. So this is stage 3. Now, is it 3A or 3B? The question is, does the patient have constitutional symptoms such as fever, itching, weight loss, drenching sweats? And the answer is yes. So the stage is 3B because we have constitutional symptoms. Cool. Suppose that disease involved the liver and the bone marrow. Now we are talking about extra lymphatic tissue and this is stage 4. Which of the following factors carries a poor prognosis? Age of 22 years, female gender, male gender, serum albumin greater than 40. The answer is male gender carries a poor prognosis. Female gender, very good prognosis. Age of 22, doesn't matter but age greater than 45 carries a poor prognosis. Serum albumin less than 40 also carries a poor prognosis. Let's continue. The staging was confirmed as stage 3B. What's the best treatment option? Radiation only? CHOP regimen chemotherapy only? ABVD regimen chemotherapy only? ABVD plus radiation? or brintoximab. Please pause. And here the answer is ABVD plus radiation. Adriamycin, bleomycin, vinblastin, docarbazine plus radiation. Why? Because the patient is stage 3B. Radiation only, maybe for stage 1, maybe stage 2, but stage 3B, you need chemotherapy for sure. How about brintoximab? No, brintoximab is only for diseases that relapsed after transplant or multiple lines of chemo. How about chemo only? No, you need radiation because you have bulky lymph nodes in the anterior mediastinum. How about CHOP regimen? CHOP is for non-Burkitt's lymphoma. ABVD is for Burkitt's lymphoma. So, what's next? The ABVD regimen can have side effects. Which of the following side effects match with the corresponding drugs? So, here is bleomycin and here is adriamycin. So, A. Does bleomycin cause tingling, brain cancer, and adriamycin pancreatitis? Or B. Bleomycin causing cough and dyspnea, while adriamycin causing cardiomyopathy? Or C early coronary disease with bleomycin, pancreatitis with adriamycin, or D, early coronary disease with bleomycin, cough and dyspnea with adriamycin. And the correct answer is B, cough dyspnea with bleomycin because bleomycin causes interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. How about adriamycin? It causes cardiotoxicity such as cardiomyopathy. So B is the answer. Last question. Congratulations, the patient was cured. Woohoo! Good job, doctor. But, oh my, I hate this but. Ten years later, he complains of fatigue, weight gain, hair loss, and constipation. Which test should you order? EKG, pulmonary function test, thyroid panel, or liver function test? And the answer is... Thyroid panel. These are symptoms of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is a common complication of radiation used to treat Hodgkin's lymphoma. So you treated this patient with radiation 10 years ago. Now he presents with hypothyroidism. Get the thyroid panel to confirm. I don't brag, but nobody on YouTube provide this kind of detail. 
so please consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notifications. I would really appreciate if you support my channel on Patreon because these videos take a lot of time to prepare. Thank you so much for watching. This is Medicos Perfectionalis. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard.